Would you like to create a secret button in your own fashion tech projects? It's great fun and I've added one to my own handbag. So I'll show you how you can make your own pressure sensitive button, adding interactivity to your projects. We're gonna make a conductive fabric button Typically when I make these, I use them as they are because I find them so beautiful. So I would just use a piece of conductive fabric and it is just touch. So when you touch this, something happens. But what we're gonna do today is I would like varying levels of touch. So we're gonna take it up a little notch. I'm Christine, I've been teaching for over 20 years. I love to make wearables with electronics and hopefully this is a good way for you to also learn how to make some of these fun circuits. So today this is the button that we're looking at and the button is a lot more interactive than just our touch. This one we're gonna get a good variety of tapping and holding and how that actually works in our code. All we need is a few ingredients. We are going to need some conductive fabric pieces. So this is fabric with steel or silver in it or copper you can use. Um, this here, I've just used a little rip stop. We're also going to need this stuff here called Velostat. This is going to allow that current to go through when we press our button. And what we're going to do is connect one piece of conductive fabric to a power source. So I have an ESP32 that is powered. All we're doing is connecting conductive piece to power. I've used a crocodile clip just to make it easier. The second piece is gonna be connected to two things. This green one here, this will go to a pin. So you need to choose a pin that has analog. So what this means is if we're using digital, it will only do zeros and ones. But if we choose analog for this, it means we get a whole variety of inputs. So it'll be, you know, zero to 143 or whatever it is going to be, a thousand. We are going to connect this to the black here, which is our ground. And that ground is also connected to a resistor. So we have a resistor here that is 4K. So I've got a resistor, a 4K going to ground, ground to my conductive fabric. I'm gonna then put my piece of Velostat on top of this piece. So my Velostat is now on top. So you need to make sure the two pieces of conductive fabric don't touch. It has to be fully separated by that Velostat. You can then take a piece of material. So I just have some felt here. I use felt a lot for wearables. It's a really great durable type of fabric. And this can actually just go straight on top of our circuit if you don't even want to see the conductive fabric at all. So this is a way just to make a fully enclosed button. The code is just on my GitHub. So this is a different way of using our conductive fabric so it's not just a touch and go, which is great. That is really the simplest way to enable that touch just by touch and go. But this way we can now have a touch or we can have a touch and hold. So it gives you a little more variety. The code's down below. Check out my GitHub. I hope you've enjoyed looking at our tutorial today and thanks for watching.